Welcome to Lecture Online, and now let's talk about the laws of logarithms. It turns out that logarithms have an interesting characteristic. It turns out that if you take the log of a product, you can actually write it as the sum of two logs. For example, the log of a times b can be written as the log of a plus the log of b. Now that happened to be very practical back in the days when calculators were not available. So if you had to do a product and the product was very complicated, you could actually simplify the arithmetic of doing a very complicated product by writing it as the sum of two logarithms. So what you would do is you take the log of a times b, you separate it, you find the log of a, you find the log of b, you add it, and that is the same as the log of a times b, and then if you take the antilog, you get the original result back. Now, of course, in today's world with calculators, we no longer need to do that, but there's still a practical reason why we want to know how to apply those laws, because it does help us simplify some equations. The other law is that if you take the law of a quotient, a divided by b, that can be written as the log of a minus the log of b. So in essence, a product gets converted to an addition, and a division gets converted to a subtraction. And finally, when you take the log of a raised to an exponent b, that can be written as b times the log of a. Again, a very practical law of, of logarithms. Notice that it takes an exponential and turns into a product, making things, again, a lot easier. So those three rules or those three laws of logarithms will come in very handy and it's very highly recommended that you put those to memory. And if you do, you'll be glad you did because they will, they will be used quite a bit in all kinds of applications. And those are the three laws of logarithms.